As Rachel reported to you in the last hour, there was another big win for democracy today in Wisconsin. Democratic Governor Tony Evers signed into law new electoral maps that undid Republican gerrymandered maps. The New York Times reports the new maps outline an almost even split between Democratic and Republican-leaning districts. 45 are Democratic-leaning, 46 are Republican-leaning, and 8 are likely to be a toss-up, according to an analysis from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Joining us now is Ben Wickler, chairman of the Democratic Party in Wisconsin and the person this program turns to whenever we hear the word Wisconsin. Uh, ben, as, as Rachel described in the last hour, it only took 13 years. And uh, the what does it mean for the changes in the 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 party shape of the legislature? This is a sea change moment. It is a it's a profound tectonic shift in the basic structure of political power and whether Wisconsin is a democracy. Scholars have called Wisconsin a democracy desert for the last 13 years because there was no possible way that even a huge majority of the public could ever end the Republican majority in the state legislature. And that just ended today with the stroke of Governor Evers's pen. From now on, if the public wants to throw out the people in power, they can and they can put someone else in charge. And that means a new day for democracy is finally dawning in the Badger State. As Rachel showed in the last hour, there was an election where 54 percent of the vote for state legislature went to Democrats, and they ended up with about one third of the seats. That's exactly right. It's it's shocking, shocking math. And beyond that, it means that in Wisconsin, the Republicans in the legislature have only worried about Republican primaries from their right. So they just leapfrog further and further away from what most people want. Most people want to expand Medicaid. They want reproductive freedom. They want workers to be able to organize. They want to legalize marijuana. Republicans don't want to hear any of that. And they never had to pay attention to the actual people of the state. Now, suddenly, all over Wisconsin, there are districts that had been totally rigged before, where people are about to run for office and have a real chance, not just of winning, but of winning and helping build a majority that can write bills. The the uh, the slogan that's that's drawn in the governor's executive office suite is the will of the people shall be the law of the land. That is now possible. It wasn't before, but now it is because people organize year after year to make this happen. Ben, we know there are voters out there who uh, vote for president. Only, it's not even easy to get them to do it, but they eventually do it because they're convinced at the end that it's kind of serious. Uh, and then they think their job is done. They think it's all over. Uh, this took 13 years. This is the kind of lesson of things that happen frequently in politics and government that take more than just one vote in one election. This involved, frankly, millions of people ultimately voting over and over, not just in state legislative races and, and governor's races, but in state Supreme Court races. Huge landslide victories in 2018, 20, 2023, in moments when it seemed like all is lost, people knocking on doors in the middle of the winter in Wisconsin, not giving up. They built this moment. And now we began an election cycle where they can actually use the power that voters have now won. This next year, in dozens of places across Wisconsin, voters will be able to say no more to the extremism and actually win seats, win a legislature. They can get involved at wisdems.org. This is the moment.